Okay, so this is not really my forte, but um, I just wanted to make a video and share this tool um, and this profound God moment that I had last week when I was really in the throes of a anxiety and panic situation um, approaching an attack, which I haven't had in a really long time. Um, and hopefully it helps somebody uh, because I just, I feel like I'm being called to put this out there in one way or another. And what a better way for a video that people can share. Um, this might have already been thought of too. I, I have no idea. I've never I've never heard of anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. There might already be a YouTube video circulating with this tool. I don't know. I take no credit for it. I just it helped me. It really helped me, and I just want to pass that along. Um, so last week I was just like I said in the throes of panic, a million things going wrong, super overwhelmed. You know every outside thing playing into it. A lot of big things, but then a bunch of small things one after another. I, I know you've been there, we've all been there. Um, so I I was praying and I'm, I'm talking to God and I'm like trying to get myself out of this so that I don't end up in my bed in a panic attack, not being able to function, not being able to do things. So I, I'm sitting there and I'm praying and I'm like, okay, God, this isn't working. Um, because it wasn't. I was I was overwhelmed to the nth degree. Everything that I had to do, everything that I was stressed about, that I was sad about, that I was just worried about running in cycles through my head. So I tried to take a deep breath and like hear what God was telling me. And if you know Jesus, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, um, there's, it's not like an audible voice for me. It's just, it's like this pull, this feeling, this inner monologue that the spirit is talking to you. Um, and so that's what I was searching for. And sometimes I need to shut myself up long enough to hear that. So I was just taking a deep breath and, and asking God to help me out of this. And I hear him say, get a balloon, a balloon. Yeah. Okay, that's super random, but specific. And I'm I'm kind of like, huh? But I'm a mom and I have balloons and I know where they are today. So I go over and I grab a balloon. And you can do this without a balloon too. It actually kind of works works better without one um cuz you can breathe easier, but it it was the whole like metaphor of everything. And so so I sit back down with my balloon and he says, take a deep breath in through your diaphragm. And when you breathe out, tell me all the things that you're worried about. List them and go through. And every time you list one of the things that you're worried about, blow it into the balloon. So um, I got my balloon. I, I start doing that. I'm worried about how we're gonna pay for this. We don't have the money for this. Um, we have to hire new people for this. Uh, I've gotta drive the kids here, here, and there. Um, my, my son is sick and I'm not gonna be able to take him where he needs to go. Like all of, I, this sounds, it sounds so petty, but there was, it was so many different things. Some of them were really small. Some of them were really big, like, you know, cancer that I have no control over and healing that that's, I pray for, but it's beyond my control, things like that. So I'm going through my head and I'm just rattling them off and I'm breathing in deep and breathing them out. And I do it over and over and over. And, and, and he says, what else, what else, what else? And anything, anything that popped into my head, I was doing this with. And so I'm holding the balloon and he says, Think through all of those things. What can you control and what can you take care of today? Not tomorrow, but today, right now. And there was a couple things. There was a couple things that I had within my power that I could get done today. So, so I, I say, well, these are the things that I can get done. Okay, that's what you're gonna do today. There's two items. Okay. And, and he says, have I not shown you that I'm working everything for good? 
I will work everything out. Do you not trust that I will work out the rest of it? And I said, no, of course, of course I trust you. He said then, he reminded me of Matthew 6. Do not worry about tomorrow for today's worries are enough. And he said, work on the two things that you have for today that you can handle today and everything else, let it go. And he told me to let it go. And I let it go and that sound and that feeling of relief, it seriously felt like a weight lifted from my chest. And I found that center and I found that peace and I felt okay with everything else. I still have a lot of work today, but if I can ask myself every day, what are the things that I can work on today and not worry about the other things? Think about them, prepare for them, that's fine, but not worry about them, not let myself get to that place where I can't function then I'm actually moving forward and doing something and God is working out the rest. So I hope this helps um, somebody. Uh, It was a great tool and it was just such a profound, I'm like, that's, you tell me to get a balloon and then this is what happens and I feel renewed. Amazing. So I hope it helps. If it doesn't help, then I hope that you'll keep searching for something else that does. Um, And I hope that you'll just reach out to God and that he can work you through whatever it is that you're going through. But that's why I'm doing this. Uh, Feel free to share it around. I hope it helps. And like I said, if somebody else thought of this, I'm taking no credit for it. Thanks for listening to me ramble.